Hobart School of Welding Technology presents Training in Gas Tungsten Arc Welding Pipe and Tubing. Topic number 19, Job Practice. Single V-Groove Weld, Butt Joint, Horizontal Fixed Position, 5G, Stainless Steel. Objective, to develop skill to produce quality single V-groove wells on Schedule 60 steel pipe using the gas tungsten arc welding process and the shielded metal arc welding process with stainless steel filler metal. The finished weld should completely penetrate the joint to form a slight reinforcement. The face should be flat to slightly convex with a 1 16th to 1 8th inch reinforcement. The finished weld should have a copper tint. Material, 8 inch diameter schedule 60 steel pipe, two nipples per workpiece. Electrodes, 1 8th inch diameter, 2% thoriated tungsten. 3 32nds inch diameter, E308-16. Filler metal. 1 8 inch diameter ER-308L. Shielding and purging gas, argon, welding grade. Equipment, collet and collet body, 1 8 inch. Nozzle, number 6, 3 8 inch inside diameter. Protective clothing, gloves and helmet. Stainless steel wire brush, wire cutters, pliers, and chipping hammer. Machine settings. Polarity, direct current electrode negative, straight polarity. Amperage setting, 90 to 110. Gas flow rate, 15 to 20 cubic feet per hour. Tungsten electrode stick out, two to three electrode diameters. Prepare, assemble, and tack weld a pipe joint according to the procedure presented in topic 18. Be sure to follow the recommended procedure for purging and cleaning while depositing the tack welds. Place the finished pipe joint in the horizontal position with the tack welds located at the 3, 6, 9 and 12 o'clock positions. Set the purging gas flow rate for 35 cubic feet per hour and purge the joint for 15 minutes. Remove the section of tape from 6 o'clock to 3 o'clock. Position the torch at 6 o'clock, 1 8 inch behind the crater of the tack weld. Hold the torch at a 90 degree work angle and a 35 to 45 degree push travel angle. The filler rod should be held against the end of the tack weld at a 10 degree angle. Start the arc and deposit the weld with the cup walking motion discussed in previous topics. A slight pause at the joint edges will be necessary to ensure proper fusion. Once the 6 to 3 o'clock section has been completed, remove the section of tape from the 3 to the 12 o'clock position. If the purging gas was set too low, the inside of the root pass will have become oxidized. If the purging gas was set too high, the inside of the root becomes concave due to the high pressure within the pipe. The root pass should appear similar to root passes deposited with mild steel electrodes except that the weld metal will have a slight copper tint. Now be sure to wire brush the root bead before depositing the second pass. Position the torch and filler metal at six o'clock. It may be necessary to angle the torch back a little more to compensate for deposited weld metal. Start the arc and use a slightly wider cup walking motion. Pause slightly at the joint bevel for proper fusion. The filler rod should be held at the center of the root bead. The 
finished second pass should be flat to slightly concave and should again show a slight copper coloration. Using too high an amperage or traveling too slowly on subsequent passes after the root bead may cause the root bead to become oxidized. This may result in the formation of chromium carbides which reduce the corrosion resistant properties of stainless steel. The remainder of the joint will now be filled using the shielded metal arc welding process. The new machine settings are polarity, direct current electrode positive, reverse polarity, amperage setting 60 to 70 for the 3.30 seconds inch diameter E30816. Position the electrode at 6 o'clock with a 90 degree work angle and a 0 degree travel angle. The electrode is perpendicular to the work. The travel angle will actually vary from 10 degrees push to 10 degrees drag depending on the action of the puddle. Start the arc and use a Z weaving motion pausing slightly at the joint edges. Maintain as tight an arc length as possible moving quickly across the face of the second pass in order to prevent a highly convex face. Weld from 6 to 12 o'clock for both halves of the pipe. To re-strike the arc, remove the slag from the weld crater at two inches of a bead. Then, re-strike the arc one half inch ahead of the crater and return to fill the crater and then continue travel. Deposit the next three fill passes using the same welding technique and electrode angles as used for the first fill pass. Be sure to travel fast enough to prevent the weld metal from sagging. The E30816 stainless steel electrode produces a more fluid puddle than the E7018 electrode previously used. Because of this, it will be necessary to use a slightly faster travel speed and shorter pauses at the bead edges. The final fill pass should be flat to slightly convex and fill the joint to within 1 16th inch of the outside pipe edge. The cover pass will then be deposited using the same work and travel angles as for the fill passes. The welding technique is the same as for the fill pass except that the weaving motion is wider to fill the wider joint space. Pause at the bevels to melt 1 16th inch of the edges and ensure correct fusion. The completed weld face should be flat to slightly convex with a 1 16th to 1 8th inch maximum reinforcement. The weld should have a shiny appearance. Inspect the weld and then continue practice.